Well, I started out on trumpet at the age of um, about 10, I think. Um, well, before that, I, I, and during the Depression, um, with, the, with the splitting up of most families um, to, to get along, <clears throat> in our family, I was separated and sent to a Catholic military academy uh, at the age of seven. And um, there, uh, the, the, they had a small uh, band, and the musical director, who I don't even remember, uh, had, an, had an old beat-up cornet that it, it was missing the valve cap on the first valve, a whole bunch of stuff. It was just a, a throwaway horn. And he threw it at me and said, here, play with this. So um, that was my first experience. And um, then I, after, after the Depression settled down and we got back together as a family, uh, by that time it was junior high school. And so I joined the junior high school band. And um, where was this at that time? In Richmond, California, okay. and because um, we lived in Berkeley, California, and um, uh, my my mother had gone at was a teacher, and she'd studied, and she got her master's at Cal Berkeley, and at Cal Berkeley, uh, she roomed with a woman named Grace Adams East, who was a, the first uh, of many succeeding female trumpet players. And she was phenomenal. She played not, not only at the university, but she was guest soloist with the Navy Band in Washington, and a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, my mother got me into, uh, t as a student with her, and so studying with her, I was able to advance fairly quickly. So uh, uh, after, um, after that, I went to high school in Oakland, California. And um, the high school was a, um, a state-owned high school. And um, so I was able to not only play in the high school band and orchestra, but through its director, I was able to uh, be a, uh, a non-registered student at UC Berkeley. And um, I guess I was probably 15 or 16, and I was uh, one of the two trumpet players in the Cal Symphony. And um, at the start of of World War II uh, in, in 1941. Uh, I had graduated high school in June of uh, 41 and um, was just kind of kicking her out and still playing in the Cal Symphony. Um, and when the, when the, after Pearl Harbor Sunday, um, there was a mass confusion of people rushing to join the military um, and um, so the director at Cal Berkeley, uh, Dr. Elkis, uh, had a connection with the Navy uh, School of Music in Washington and uh, because he knew one of the French horn players and through him, through Elkis, uh, I was able to audition for the School of Music and was accepted. But um, uh, so in, in four months after Pearl Harbor, April 42, I enlisted. Uh, the, one, one of the conditions at that time to go to that school was you had to enlist in the Navy for six years. Uh, because they're not going to give you years uh, schooling without you giving back five. And so anyway, I went to Washington and stayed a year in the School of Music, graduated in 1943. I enlisted in April of 42, 
my year at the school ended in, in uh, May of 43, and um, uh, I took a 30-day leave, came back to the school, and in June of 43, uh, I was formed up with 20, 20 other musicians into a 20 bees band, uh, a swing band. But this was back in the swing band era. And uh, the, the 20 piece band was both a ceremonial band and a swing band, and was most popular as a swing band. And we had some, some of the top players in the, in the, from the colleges who had also come to the School of Music as a way of avoiding the army draft. So it, <clears throat> I got in with some real good musicians and uh, 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 we were assigned from the School of Music to the battleship North Carolina, which at that time was down at Numia, New Caledonia, down by Australia in the Solomon Islands. And um, the, at the stage of World War II in the Pacific, they were still fighting on Guadalcanal, which was the first major invasion of the war. Um, so I went aboard the North Carolina in, uh, in July of 1943 and stayed on her till the end of the war in 1945. Now, did you have to go through basic training? I mean, oh, boot camp in San Diego. Was so everything a, you were full sailor. I mean, you still had to go through everything. Oh yes, uh, uh, we did. Uh, every everybody on a battleship had a had a battle station. Uh, it, no matter what your rating was, I mean, you could be a cook in the galley, but your battle station might be down passing ammunition seven decks down. Um, the band, we were all assigned in damage control, so we were firefighters. Um, fortunately, we never had a fire on the ships, so I don't know if I could have, uh, could have put it out, but I could have thrown a trumpet at it. <laughs> but, um, so I, after the war, I came back to, uh, in 48, I came back to Los Angeles because my folks had moved from Berkeley to L.A., and um, um, that was in 1948, and um, about six months later, I started um, in with a, uh, I think the Sierra Madre Community Band, um, and then it was jumping from the Sierra Madre Community to, um, oh, the Anaheim, and, um, and several other community bands. Um, and um, uh, for a very, very brief period uh, in in 50s, or 1950, I had a, a, a group of students um, to whom I gave lessons, but that, that was a very, very brief thing. Didn't last for long. And um, then um, I was playing. In, oh, I was playing in the police band at uh, City of Alhambra, and um, um, and while I was playing in the police band in 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 fifty, um, it was. Um, Oh dear, I'm trying to, my dates are confusing. You're doing um, pretty good so far. Yeah. <laughs> um, see, you, you, in, in, oh, yeah, I was playing in the, in the, in that police band, and then uh, also I was playing in the LAPD um, band, and, um, then, while I was with LAPD band, um, they drafted me into the, to become a reserve officer, and I played with the, I was the official department bugler for 20 years. Um, I played over 200 police funerals uh, in that time. 
Um, but um, um, other, other than always playing the same song, <laughs> uh, taps, <laughs> uh, 28 notes, 45 seconds, and <laughs> I don't know how many breaths. But in any case, um, when I read in the paper that Huntington Beach was uh, advertising for people who were interested in a community band, um, I answered the ad and I went to the high school and I met uh, John Mason and I attended the first rehearsal of the band. Uh, I even, someplace in my notes, I even noted the name of the first song we ever played with the band. Um, I think it was, it was on March. No, it wasn't. You told March. me that it was a Festival by Nell. Yeah, Band. Festival, that's it. And, um, that was your request to put it on the program, but I'm sorry, it's not going to be there. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, John. Thank you, John. See, we have a meeting of the minds. <laughs> um, the, um, I've, I don't think there are any other actual first-time musicians at that rehearsal uh, that are still with, with us. Um, Goff, the horn player, yeah. was fairly close by, um, and some others. That, uh, but um, uh, in any case, I've I stayed with uh, with the Huntington Beach Band up until a couple of years ago, when it, medically it's just necessary to stop playing, and uh, that's about all I can tell you. Lloyd's. Okay. Well, embraces the epitome of music for life. He's done it his entire life. Keeps us all young. 